Police are investigating after a standoff in Middlebury ended with one man dead. This is a story we first brought you as breaking news last night at 11. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Cassidy Williams explains why police responded to the area in the first place. As police swarmed Porter Avenue in Middlebury, some neighbors didn't realize what was happening until they tried to get dinner. We ordered pizza and we got a call back saying that um, the driver couldn't get to us. That's because police had the street blocked off. State police say a family member called them after a man allegedly fired two shots within their house. The man then barricaded himself inside. We were stopped by a police officer and we asked what was going on and he said that somebody had held himself up in the house with weapons weapons possibly and so we need to hurry back. Police say officers arrived around 5:30 Wednesday evening. Neighbors say a few hours later they started to hear the negotiations. One neighbor shared with us a video recorded around 11:45 where you can hear it. Hours later, around 5 a.m. Thursday, police say the man was found dead inside his home. Oh, it's awful. It's terrible. Neighbor Allison Modica is a clinical social worker and is thinking of his family. Mental health is so, it's so important and people, it's so stereotyped, you know what I mean? And people just don't feel comfortable reaching out and, and they really should. Um, sometimes you think people are okay and they're not, so. Yeah, I, I'm so sorry for his family. Police stayed on the scene throughout the day as they continue to look into how all of this happened. Reporting in Middlebury, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.